For those of us in the Midwest, we know we've been blessed with a very mild winter, but living in Chicago, we know the snow is on its way. So we want to talk today a little bit about preventing some snow shoveling type of injuries. Uh, while it can be a, a good exercise, uh, we want to talk to you about some of the uh, risks uh, that it can pose and try to prevent some of the more common injuries related to snow shoveling. Uh, as we look at the overall uh, statistics, uh, approximately 100,000 people uh, injure their back or have a significant uh, cardiac event every year. Uh, in fact, 7% of cardiac events happen every year from a snow shoveling type of incident. About 20% of all injuries are related to actually slipping on ice and snow, and over 50% of all the injuries are involving the musculoskeletal system in some way. Heart attack deaths uh, can triple among men ages 35 to 49. Uh, we know that pushing a heavy load of snow up to hundreds of pounds of snow uh, could put increased stresses on the heart and low back. Uh, this is even true for some of the automatic uh, ways of shoveling snow, such as uh, using a snow blower. If you're not conditioned uh, and you're not in the habit of shoveling snow, uh, we strongly recommend that you consult with your physician beforehand. Uh, we recommend that you dress properly. Uh, you're going to lose a lot of heat through your skin. Uh, that's going to lead to decrease of blood uh, going to the heart. Uh, and so you want to cover every part of your body with clothes. Uh, increased load on the lower back while shoveling snow can lead to serious muscle strains. It can lead to a possible herniated disc and even worse, a compression fracture of the vertebral bodies of the lower spine. We recommend using a shovel with a smaller blade. That way it's forcing you to not uh, shovel increased weight. Uh, you also want to make sure you're lifting with your legs, uh, not bending directly down with the waist. Uh, one of the things that we recommend is avoiding a lot of twisting at the waist. Uh, when you pick up the snow, you want to actually step into uh, the direction uh, that you're removing the snow as opposed to twisting around. Another tip is stands. Uh, you want to be stationary, stable. You want to have your feet about shoulder width. Uh, that's going to give you the stability you need. Uh, and you also want to position your hands uh, far away from each other. The wider the grip, the less forces you're placing on your forearm and shoulder. Uh, so those are just a few tips in terms of uh, getting that snow removed this winter.